Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and this is my 100 subscriber special. Um, it's going to be a modded Minecraft invention episode, uh, episode 5 of that series, I believe. And what we're going to show off here is an arcane levitator and computer-controlled elevator system. Um, as you can see here, I have a monitor that shows the floors available in this setup. Um, and you just go up here and use the touch screen, hit floor 3, and jump inside the elevator and it stops you at floor 3. Um, it detects when you're at the floor that you've selected using this tripwire um, and a piston deploys to stop you from falling down through the setup. It also shuts off the levitators so that you no longer fly up above the floor because um, levitators can work through blocks sometimes. Um, there's a little bit of delay in, uh, when they shut off or get blocked. Um, let's go ahead and show the descent portion here. As you can see I've selected floor 2 and we're currently on floor 3. Um, when you do that it deploys the piston for that floor so that you fall down through it uh, to that floor directly here. Um, let's go ahead and go back up to floor three so I can show you one more piece. Oop. Occasionally that happens. Uh, there's something with the levitators where they kind of bounce you back and forth like that. I don't really understand why. Um, but that's kind of irrelevant to my setup here. Uh, the Levitators up above is what I wanted to show off. They slow your descent. So if I were to select floor one, there's not going to be any piston. And if I were in survival, I would survive this fall because the levitators above slow you from falling down uh, at too fast of a speed. Um, behind the scenes, I'll show you how this all works. Let's go to floor two. Here. Okay. On floor two, you will see that there is a bunch of wiring in the background here. This is my computer controlling this floor. Um, bundle cable goes out and when you've selected floor 2 the green wire gets powered. The green uh, uh, cable in that bundle. When you go over the trip wire um, this power or this uh, red alloy wire here gets powered and that goes into this AND gate. If both sides of this AND gate are active then it outputs a redstone signal to both of these pistons. The top piston stops you from flying through the uh, floor and the bottom piston stops you from falling back down through it once the levitator shut off. The levitators are shut off by this red alloy wire here going back into this black cable because that black cable goes out um, on the bottom here and goes all the way down to the arcane levitators. When they have a redstone signal, they shut off. Um, I do have a relay set up on this so that the power does not back feed in when you're trying to descend. Um, and the reason for that is this red line here is the descent line saying I want to go down a floor. It was important that both the black and red were different so that I could detect um, a difference between when you want to descend a floor or when you're at your destination floor. Um, and the code kind of shows that off a little bit when you, when you see the code. Um, the purple wire here, you'll see, is kind of used as a reset uh, command to all the computers. If I go ahead and select floor 2 here, you'll see that that red uh, bit inside the purple wire there will pulse. Let's do it a couple times here, you can see it hopefully. Um, that really is sending out a command to all the other computers, because all these computers are listening not only to the touch screen event, but also um, the status of all these bundled uh, colors inside the uh, um, bundle cable there. When it detects, when all these computers detect a purple wire is active, it shuts off the output to all of the other bundled cables or bundle colors that it may have had. Um, the reason for that is if you have two computers sharing a bundled cable, the computer over here turns it on. This computer over here technically can't shut off that same purple wire, for example. Um, this computer has to shut it off for it truly to be deactivated. So that was just a workaround to get around that uh, condition where um, say floor 3 might be active and I select floor 2, I want floor 3 to de disable when it happens. Um, but yeah, um, what else we got? I think that's about it. Um, it's really kind of a simple setup once I've worked through all the uh, bugs on it initially. Um, one of those bugs being if I go up to floor three, 3 here, hopefully I hit the button, yeah. Um, and I want to go down to floor 2, uh, my initial setup would not catch me in time. Um, the reason being is, as you're descending, even with the arcane levitator slowing your descent, um, you would end up with like your head inside that piston block before the uh, 
tripwire had sent its signal to deploy that piston. So what would happen is you'd actually take a little bit of damage from the piston and then fall down one, one extra floor. Um, so my workaround for that problem was to have these computers detect when the downward red line is on and when their specific floor is on. Um, let's see if I can get back up here. So in the case of floor two, it was the green line. So when green and red were on, then it would output a redstone signal on the bottom of the computer and that redstone signal goes out to the back of the piston and enables that piston to deploy. Um, so really it's a uh, uh, an easy workaround, kind of a cheaty workaround to do, but it works just great. Um, this setup should be expandable until you run out of colored lines. Um, I have the purple, black, and red uh, used as control lines really so the rest of the colors are available to use for additional floors um, if you want to check out this design and I'm normally we get into the code but the codes kinda complex in this scenario so I'm going to and it's really not that the codes complex it's that the code and the wiring combined are the key to make the system work um, if you didn't have uh, the AND gates and all that set up it just wouldn't work. So what I'm going to do in this this case, instead of just sharing the code, I'm going to share the whole world download. It will include the code. You'll be able to get in here and check out the wiring, see how it's done. Um, and then that should hopefully help anyone that wants to copy this design to be able to copy this design. So um, anyway, I have rambled on long enough about this setup. So uh, I will sign off. This is TechStack signing off. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.